We stay busy, as Leland mentioned, we do the robotics and spacewalks to support the construction and maintenance of the station. And we have a lot of Earth photography we do for the Earth scientists. But there's a lot of other science that we do in space as well. And it really is an international effort. One day I was talking to scientists from the US, Germany, Japan, and Russia. And it was really kind of neat. Uh, in the, we're in the microgravity environment. If you can roll the tape, there's a really uh, nice visual of why we do studies in space. This is water. It's a reptile. It, <laughs> I am a reptile. This is true. On the ground, of course, gravity drives the behavior of liquids, especially, you know, you pour it into a glass. It stays in the glass. It takes the shape of the glass because that's gravity, gravity working on the water. In space, for liquids, something called surface tension takes over, and that drives the behavior. And so here you see a very strong example of what surface tension forces do when they're interacting with your hand or with other surfaces. It kind of gives water a sticky, or liquids a sticky feel, if you will. And so... We're there in space doing these experiments on you know, various phenomena just to understand what changes. Because as we learn how materials grow differently, how liquids behave differently, how our bodies change in space, we can take all of that knowledge and not only apply it to make technology we need to continue exploration, but we can take that technology uh, and bring it back into everyday lives. You know, your UV coating on your sunglasses. Uh, some of you guys are into golf or bicycling. You've got really strong lightweight metals. All these things come out of the space program. So this is why we're on the space station.